Nagbabala ka bang bumili ng CPU or ng GPU? Panoorin mo muna to para hindi masayang pera mo. We surveyed four of the largest PC stores in the country. For the prices of 9 GPUs and 8 CPUs for 20 weeks. Lahat ng research natin, open for free, makikita mo sa Google Sheet link in the description below. So you can look at that data, tas ikaw na mismo magsasabi na now is a good time for me to buy. Or hold muna tayo, baka bababa pa yung presyo. And of course, may in-depth price analysis pa tayo after this short message from our sponsor. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mo lang sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang um order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes na CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Changing things up a bit this week, I moved the weekly summary tab to the start. So, mas madali na siya makita ngayon. I think this will probably be more useful for a lot of us na we don't need to go super granular. We just want to see the trends. So weekly summary muna tayo. The last time we did this was at week 15. So, this is the last week where we had an episode on. Not much of a change. So, nandito tayo sa portion of year na wala masyadong price changes. Although there have been a lot of promos recently for Ryzen 7000, AMD is becoming a little desperate to try to jumpstart adoption of the 7000 because it's so popular for the 5000 series. It's really good performance for the price that you're paying for. Victim of its own success, si AMD dito, they have been trying to get 7000 series sales going, but there's still a lot of love for the 5000 series. Recently, may promos both MSI and Gigabyte in conjunction with AMD to try to get the 7000 series moving forward. But based on the last price watch episode, so 1650, no price change really, slight price bump, pataas, but very minor. For the 3050, again, slight price increase. <laughs> 3060, slight price decrease. 3080, it's really hard to look at the data here because. If you look in the granular level, isang shop na lang kasi to eh. Out of the four shops that we follow, only one of them has a 3080 left in stock. Pero this is actually a very good price for the 3080, around 41,000 pesos. To be honest, I'm seeing supplier prices na mas mahal pa dito. So we can get you a 3080, but it would be more expensive. Even if we just sold you at the dealer price, wala pa kaming patong dun. It will be more expensive than this 41,000 peso 3080. I think what's happening, yung ibang suppliers na ipit din na bumili sila at a more expensive rate. So they, they're kind of stuck at selling the GPU at that price, but they're offering a lot of freebies with it. Pero a lot of customers are bottom line. I don't really need a lot of freebies. What I would like is just a cheaper graphics card. So if you're looking for a 3080, this price is very good. For the 4080, Slight price increase actually from 84 or so, naging 86. And the 4090, very slight price decrease. You notice with NVIDIA GPUs, may chance pa na tumaas sila eh. But usually sa AMD, the opposite. Usually, babagsak yan. Yes, the 6500 XT bucked the trend a little. So from around 13,000 pesos, week 15. Current week, week 20, naging 13,000, so around the 400 peso difference. But overall, you, you can see a big price difference here, 31 to 28. That's roughly around 10% price difference. Even for the 700 XTX, which is the flagship card for this generation, 71,000 pesos roughly five weeks ago. Ngayon mga 68,000 na lang. So with AMD cards, 
usually the price will go down. Bihira lang yan na tataas. Unlike Nvidia, nakita natin si Nvidia na medyo akyat baba talaga. I mean, di ka magugulat kung umakyat yung Nvidia prices. But for AMD prices, usually they will trend downward. So the longer you wait, bababa talaga yung presyo ng AMD graphics cards. Which, you know, is kind of a good thing. The 6000 series cards are good value for money now. It just it's kind of hard to recommend sometimes because driver wise, mas maganda pa rin drivers ni Nvidia. There's less cause for concern. For AMD kasi paminsan, you know, you're you're kind of iffy like kailangan ko pa ba i-tweak to. So, if you're an experienced PC hardware guy, no problem. In fact, you like tweaking, in fact, you like spending hours making sure na sobrang optimized ng sistema mo. But if you're a more casual kind of user, medyo mahirap talagang i-recommend yung AMD. Then kahit kami dito sa shop, paminsan ayo namin i-stock yung AMD. Not because we favor Nvidia, it's just because that because of the driver issues of AMD, babalik yung customer sa amin, sasabihin na, "Oh, si ratong card na binenta mo sa akin, gusto ko ng refund." When there's nothing wrong with the hardware. Yung problema lang, yun nga, di maganda yung driver software issue. Wala na kami magawa nun because it is a software problem rather than a hardware problem. And depending on the customer, it can be very difficult to explain to the customer that the hardware is working fine. If it's working fine, bakit nga nagka crash the game? <laughs> but if you're an experienced PC guy, you know that there could be hardware issues, there could also be software issues, and those are completely separate. Pero mahirap ipaliwanag, especially if they're just starting out with computer hardware. So for ease of use, Nvidia is really recommended. But if you're going for price to performance and you don't need cutting edge RTX performance or you don't need fancy DLSS, even though AMD has its own equivalent, it's just, you know, maybe not as good. But for certain games and you don't mind potential headaches, AMD really is the way to go. Better value for money. On the CPU side of things, AMD hasn't really dropped in price. So that's everything I talked about kanina para sa mga GPU lang yan. For the 7950X, rock solid, hasn't changed prices at all, still at 35,745. 7600X has dropped actually, around 2000, roughly almost 2,000 pesos drop. The 7600X actually has dropped around 1,000 pesos. So again, trying to kind of bring the price down, AMD is to encourage more people to try out the 7000 series. 5600X, still doing very well. Uh, mainstay tong 5600. Actually, all of the mainstream 5000 series AMD CPUs, 5600X, 5800X, 5700, 5600, 5500, all of those guys are really selling, still popular with a lot of people. The 5600G has gone up just very slightly by around 100 pesos. R53600 has seen a very good price drop. So this is three generations behind, but just two generations if you skip the 4000 series. The 4000 series was initially meant just for OEMs, but AMD eventually released them to consumers. But in my mind, that's kind of like a lost generation. We don't even stock it in the shop. So it's 3000 series and 5000 series. Although technically, it is two generations behind already because you had the 4000 and the 3000. But the R53600 is very enticing at this price point from mid 8,000 to around mid 5,000. So you pair that with an A320, a B450, that's a solid build right there. There's been a lot of news lately na hindi nagmeet ng performance expectations yung revenue ng Intel last year. So 2022 was a terrible year for Intel. It's not like they lost money, but the, the margins, the profit margins really shrank. So everybody panicked. Like everybody in Intel panicked and there was these massive, oh, we're gonna lay off, we're gonna shut these data centers, these R&D centers and things like that. But bottom line on the ground, we haven't seen that translate really into price drops for their CPUs. Intel 13th gen, actually quite popular with customers at Hardware Sugar. Pinaka high end the CPU, 3900K. No significant price difference. So maybe we have a 1000 peso price drop or so. 13600K, also slight easing, around an 800 peso price drop from 20,700 to 19,995, or basically 20,000. We do include a 12th gen just for comparison purposes. So we have a 12,500, a very small price drop. It's like a 500 peso price drop. So while everybody has been doom and gloom about Intel CPUs, we haven't seen that translate into massive price drops at the local level. 
Intel might be interested to get more of your money, but they certainly aren't discounting their CPUs to do it. Unlike, for example, AMD who's riding high in the CPU department, but they're really struggling to move their stock of the 7000 series. Again, victim of their own success, the 5000 series was just so darn good. Personally, I'm still on AMD's 3000 series with the 3800X. So I haven't even experienced the 5000 series, tapos may 7000 na. But really, for AMD CPUs, 3000, 5000, still very good value for money. Now let's take a deep dive into the granular prices. So pinaka latest March 20, may price increase from Wedge for the 1650. But after that, not much else actually. Wala much other movement. So Roy may price drop. Dati, 9660 siya, 9350 na siya ngayon, which is a week on week price drop for the 1650 from Roy. If these names are unfamiliar, tinagu ko yung mga tunay na pangalan ng mga shops because only one shop gets free publicity on the Hardware Sugar YouTube channel, and that's Hardware Sugar. So these are four real world, yung pinakamalaking, pinakasikat na PC shops dito sa Pilipinas. Pero tinagu ko yung mga pangalan nila. So these are all under aliases. Pero yung mahalaga, week from week, pareho yung alias nila. So wedge from. This week is the same wedge as no March 13 and the same wedge that we looked at at the very start no October pa lang. So that consistent yung data, we can actually plot the performance of the prices. Not much change really, yun nga, kind of a dead area right now for retail. So wala masyadong holidays, wala masyadong promos. Price increase from 2060 from Wash, dati 19,500. Now the cheapest they have is around 21,000. So that's a bit of a significant increase. And the 4090, also a price increase from 110 to 112 or so. Well, this is around 111 last week and then 120 this week. Wedge has seen price drops both for the 6500 XT and the 7900 XTX. This is the cheapest actually that I've seen the XTX at 67,380. So just to recap, blue means that may price drop from last week and red means may price increase from last week. And we also have the average prices here per week in green on the right hand side. This is the data that we copy and paste into the weekly summary in the previous tab that we saw. And also good to note that itong lahat ng 3060s natin, ito yung 12 gigabyte version because there is an newer version. Newer, but it actually has lesser VRAM. So yung standard or yung previous version ng 3060, 12 gigabytes, the newer version only has 8 gigabytes. Para consistent, we get the cheapest price for the 12 gigabyte version because we do think that value for money, it's better if you can get the 12 gigabyte. Yes, there is a little price difference. Mas mahal ng konte yung 12 gigabyte. But price to performance, sulit na yung a little bit more just to get 4 gigabytes of extra VRAM. And it's kind of annoying when NVIDIA does this because 3060 sila pareho, but you really need to look at the fine print. And again, if you're just starting out with PCs, isipin mo lang, ah, 3060 naman to. Ito rin, 3060. Magkapareho sila, pero mas mura to. Most likely, kung mas mura yon, yan yung 8 gigabyte version. So all of the prices we track here from the start up to now are the 12 gigabyte versions of the 3060. And Wash, even with its price increase, still has the cheapest 3060 at 29995 3060 is a good mid-range card now, mid-range to high-end. And a lot of our customer base, who are gamers, do trend towards the 3060. For CPUs, very little differences at all. We just have one entry from Roy. Dati, and it's a very small price increase lang. Last week, 10,099 yung R5 5600X. Ngayon, 10,178. So it's like 79 pesos more. <laughs> Sobrang late lang ng price difference. Everything else has remained the same from last week. CPUs generally though are more price stable compared to GPUs. It can really fluctuate a lot even when we're out of the GPU apocalypse that was the pandemic. So bottom line, should you buy a GPU now? There hasn't been a lot of movement, so if you're waiting for a big price drop, you can continue waiting. But if you're tired of waiting, kung inisip mo na grabe, sobrang tagal naman, nakipon na ako, I would probably pull the trigger just because there isn't anything on the horizon that would suggest that a sale is coming up soon. So kung inip ka na, na naghihintay ka and you're ready to go, in my mind, there's no reason to wait any longer. It's unlikely that you'll be seeing major sales or major price drops anytime soon. 
But as always, nasa sayo na yun, if you think that we've reached that magic intersection of price for performance for you, kasi iba iba naman mga budget natin, if you are still looking up to save, you can always check itong price watch natin. We only do this kind of episode once a month, but this Google Sheet is online 24 7 and we update it once a week. So you can track it in real time if now is the time to pull that trigger on a GPU or on a CPU. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.